the Nigerian partner for the Fast Rail Initiative, Ayo Dodadoli, and the director of Skyway Capital, Fantasek Solar, uh, joins us now. Gentlemen, glad to have you join us this morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Well, let me start from where he stopped. Will they be allowed to do this? Uh, the last statement he made about private uh, initiative. Will they be allowed to go on with this project? What are your plans? Well, uh, the government. Uh, what has... And what challenges uh, thus far have you had? The government has no choice than to allow it to come upstream. Uh, looking at the challenges that confronts them, uh, particularly with uh, funding, and of course having the. Uh, the goodwill to make it happen. Uh, if you look at the Lagos terrain now, a lot of places have been locked down uh, due to uh, uh, containers, trailers parking on the road, and this has reduced the, the downtime on our economy. Uh, we want to take advantage of the Skyway, you understand, which can also move a, a lot of people at the shortness of time. Uh, the technology also has the capacity to move cargoes on its rail and it can move human on a string, and, and it has huge speed. Maximum, it can run uh, 500 kilometers per hour. Uh, Averagely, minimum, it can do 150 kilometers per hour. So we are talking about moving from Lagos to Abuja within 50 minutes, you understand, as against flying down to Abuja, and it will also boost our tourism potential. People can look at the, uh, the landscape of the country, how beautiful it is. It can help secure our environment, especially along the petroleum pipeline corridor that have been a challenge to government. By the time you have human uh, vehicular movement along that route and you can plug cameras, security cameras on it, you can also put uh, lightings on it so that all of those areas will be lit up. Uh, there are so many things that you, can, you, could, you could achieve from it. Let me just ask you, this sounds like a great idea, especially in a city and a country where there is a need, a huge need for alternative transportation. Yeah. But now, let me ask you, there's, there had been plans in the previous Lagos administration with, uh, with uh, uh, Governor Fashola to have uh, trains and fast-speed trains. Now, in this case, what I want to know is how affordable and how accessible would it be for the average Nigerian? In construction, it's far cheaper than the, than the metro line. It's far cheaper. Uh, the investors intend to bring in their investment, bring in the money, and they're also going to set up a factory to build this, uh, this uh, infrastructure for us. It's going to create jobs and all of that. All we just need is the government to buy in, allow us to follow uh, some uh, infrastructure route. For instance, uh, the median, we don't need too much space. The median will be used. We will, we will, we will change the, uh, the street lights for the poles. And of course, plug the street light back at the top. You understand? So you just follow the middle, the middle route. In terms of speed, it's very fast. Very fast, very safe, and very secure. All right, uh, uh, Francisic, you're the director of Skyway Capital. Yeah. Let us in more on what this really is all about, and then uh, we've not had him say how many passengers it can take, uh, how safe it is, and the general layout of your plans, you know. Yeah. Uh, what I would like to say, our technology is uh, fully innovative technology. It was, uh, uh, this, it was uh, made by uh, Mr. Unitsky, and uh, Mr. Unitsky and the company Skyway has a lot of experience because he he started to develop this project in 1978. It means 40 years ago he started to uh, deal with this te technology. We overcome about, of, overcomes, uh, all the tests. This technology is uh, unique because uh, we uh, developed it on for the second level. It means we can go from 3 meters high to 30 meters high. We solve uh, with this technology fully the act. We can push down the accident rates. We can help uh, for the environment because this is environmental friendly technology. We can do many, many things for the waste consumption, for the waste treatment here to uh, use this energy for the, for the running. Generally, we can say that this, that this uh, transportation technology is three to five times uh, less money needed for the investment as uh, the other kind of, of uh, technology. Of course, this is um, 
the possibility to combine several types of transportation. We are able to transport 25,000 people per hour in one direction. 25,000. On the same rail system, we can put the cargo transportation system. It means use it uh, very, very effectively. Now, in a, state, in a state like Lagos State, I'm sure you've witnessed the gridlock that we have here and, and how traffic management works here. How effective do you think this would be in, in Lagos? Because you mentioned Lagos to Abuja, are we doing within the states? I mean, from like Lagos, also from VIT, Korodu, and that kind of thing. And also, why Nigeria? Uh, why Nigeria? Nigeria is, is one of the biggest company, one of the, of the biggest country in Africa. Uh, we have here a lot of friends. We have here a lot of active leaders. We have here many, many people who paid for, for this project. And uh, we hope uh, that uh, we will find uh, some agreement with the government because uh, as we uh, according to our last experiences, uh, the government uh, wants to uh, be cooperative. They would like uh, to help uh, this country to solve these uh, traffic problems because every day we saw that it's catastrophic. And uh, we need to know that uh, which decisions will be done now. It will be impact for the future. We need to do something with the situation because I cannot imagine how the situation will be after five years. Yeah. All right, uh, Adole. Uh, how cost effective is this for the commuters? That's one. Secondly, you're partnering with the government. What's the cost outlay? I don't think I've had the cost outlay, you know. If you're partnering with the, co go the government, what's the cost outlay? Who is bearing what? And then, of course, the initial question I asked, how cost effective is it for the commuter? In terms of cost, uh, the technology runs itself. It runs itself, so you don't need uh, petrol, you don't need diesel, and it generates energy on its own. It's clean energy, there's no emission. So that brings down the cost. Because when it rolls, it produces energy on its own that is stored in batteries. And you can also use it to power communities, you can use it to power a large expanse of, of, of area. So when you remove the, uh, the external uh, energy cost from it, it brings it down. The actual cost is on infrastructure. And infrastructure cost in the, uh, in the, in, in the exact time, it looks huge. But by the time you spread it a long time, it's quite cheap. So it means that you could pay uh, within Lagos Metropolis, say from VI to Ikurudu, you could, uh, you could pay about uh, 20 naira. Oh. Yeah, you could pay about 20 naira. Really? Because, yes, you could pay about 20 naira there. It's quite cheap. Really? It's quite cheap. But, but uh, you, uh, no, uh, you uh, see, uh, no, it's, it's abnormally, abnormally cheap. Really? It's abnormally cheap. You see, the major thing is, is, is the volume. Yeah. Is the volume. How many people go? That's where the profit comes in. And how do you assure people of the safety? Because people will, I mean, even now we have waterways and we have, yeah. um, as an alternative mode yeah. of transport, people are still quite apprehensive about using that. How will you assure the average Lagosian one that of, flying of, in the sky? One of the safest, the safest means of transportation is rail. Mm. People will say air, but in Nigeria, you and I know that even if you want to fly, people at times do night vigil. Uh, before they embark on, 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 on such trips. Right. So, on rail, it is very, very safe. The height is not too, it's, it's not too high. They can break it very low. Okay. And it's uh, hinge uh, on the track. I, I, I just want to, just, just briefly, just, just fast, yeah. because uh, that time has, has gone up. When is this commencing? When, are you, when is it commencing? I don't think I've had that. Sorry? When is it commencing? When is it starting? When, 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 I, is, no, is it going to come uh, on stream now? Good, uh, today? Good question. Uh, yes, uh, today we will have uh, some meeting with uh, people from the government. We hope that uh, this meeting will uh, be very successful. Okay. We would like to install uh, very quickly joint venture company here, go through the administration processes which need to be done, okay. and we hope that beginning of next year uh, we will be able to be in the stage of preparing the first project here and uh, maybe on the mid of uh, next year we will start to build the first mm. project I can't in wait. Nigeria. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait. I'm sure you can't wait. Yeah, uh, I'm I can't very wait. excited. Um, Francis X, all the uh, director of Skyway Capital and Ayodhya Adoli. Uh, it's interesting. 20 Naira 
I may have to stop driving. Yeah. Well, okay. you have to stop. I may have to stop driving. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And all the best. Thank you. <laughs>